Welcome back. New at six, students from across the country tested their engineering skills at the fourth annual autonomous vehicle competition. They designed and even put their drones against each other in different challenges, trying not to crash. Our Don White has more from their base at the University of Texas at Arlington. Y'all are the next generation. The next generation of engineers took part in a friendly competition <laughs> Saturday at UTA's Maverick Stadium. Go UTA. Pony up and go SMU. <laughs> Ten teams from Texas, Alabama, and Mississippi designed both ground vehicles and drones. Flying high in the sky. Being able to get out and build something that's tangible and a fun project has really, it's been a really great thing to do. You don't want to lose points if it's not on. SMU senior Blake Gebhardt has been working on the project since September. We've got a fair bit of computer parts, a lot of electrical motors, and a little autopilot in our flying drone as it flies by itself searching for the other school's drones. UTA senior David Divala towers over his teammates at six foot six inches tall. And his mind is just as big as his height. Well, last year's they used lasers to uh, where the drone would shoot a laser to the ground vehicle, and the ground vehicle is supposed to detect it. Uh, this year is pretty much the same, but except with lasers, it's water. This is old Mrs. Drone. They had been working on it for two semesters. Take a look. The pool noodles here help to cushion the landing, and then the water system has been repurposed from a toy from Walgreens. UTA electrical engineering professor David Wetz says the students will be able to use what they learned at the competition in their careers. Drones are everywhere. We have the autonomous vehicles. We see disaster relief. Uh, you know, drones are out there everywhere uh, looking at those types of things. These students earn points by flying high in the competition and in their future careers. In Arlington, Dawn White, CBS News, Texas.